So hi, everyone. My name is Kevin R.C. I'm actually calling in from the lovely uh, beachfront city, Phuket, Thailand, currently supposed to be on vacation. But anyways, I'm here to present my new project proposal, MUC, uh, whose objective is to turn any model point prediction into a probabilistic one. So first, why probabilistic prediction? Well, ultimately, having a probabilistic prediction answers the question of how certain or how sure is your underlying model. For example, you have this uh, point prediction that kind of tries to predict the actual value here, but having a probabilistic prediction can give you an interval or the upper or lower boundaries of your model prediction based on a certain level of confidence. For example, 90% confidence interval. So if your um, confidence interval is narrow, that means your uh, model is very certain. If your confidence interval is very wide, that means your model is more uncertain. And having a more uncertain model makes it uh, unreliable. And that means that your model should be something that cannot be used and should be discarded. But that is something that you can, you can only realize uh, if you use a probabilistic prediction rather a point prediction one. Okay, so what is MOC? So MOC stands for Model Agnostic Uncertainty Quantification, where the uncertainty quantification is what brings um, the point prediction into a probabilistic prediction. Okay, so what does what makes our service MOC so special? So what we do here is that um, we can turn any model, uh, including uh, statistical, um, machine learning, deep learning, um, into a probabilistic ones. All it needs to do is to output a point prediction. It can also be data agnostic. Um, for example, it could be, either be used for, for tabular or more sequential time series data, um, although not necessarily on structured ones, such as um, like text or images. It can be used for both regression and classification problems. And the outputs could either be a prediction interval, which you will see here, or a distribution. And the goal of this service is for the um, uncertainty quantification to be automated. So how, how do we all make all this work? So this is our uh, not so secret magic formula and it's called conformal prediction, which is in my view, kind of one of the, mo one of the hottest yet underrated uh, topics in the AI space right now, hottest because it's been being more and more used by top practitioner in the space, including a Stanford, prominent Stanford professor who gave a keynote to it, to uh, Neurops last year, yet underrated because it hasn't been much talked about in the general public, like compared to say like generative AI or large language models, chat GPT, et cetera. So what our services kind of do is kind of bottle up this, um, new um this technique and try to make it as a service to have it accessible for everyone so how does the service work so it is one service and one api endpoint so the user passes in uh the, the data whether as a table or a time series um as in into the service and mock will output the uncertainty quantifications back to the user for example, if the user wants a hey. prediction interval, then it will do so. Uh, time's up. So oh, here are some. Of the okay. So some of the applications include um, Sybil, which is our other um, uh, uh, other uh, service we're currently developing. Got approved in Deep Funding too, but the hope is that it can also be used by other AI services, including you guys. Um, if you have a AI component that makes a prediction, I think I presume that most likely it will just be a point prediction. So Mock can actually hopefully benefit you guys to actually see whether your how certain your model prediction is uh, for your given application. But it can also be a uh, because it is domain agnostic or model agnostic, it is also domain agnostic. So it can be applied to various industries, including energy, industrial automation, or even trading. 
Uh, for example, if you have like a leading indicator, but you want to see how strong the signal is, then you can use a uh, mock to kind of see how, how the strength of it, and this can help you with, for example, position sizing and risk management. So our funding amount, the, the total funding amount is $72,000, and much of it is around um, AI, R&D, because this is still a, like a cutting edge space, and we are actually practitioners in the space as well. So some of the um, implementations or models we will do will be custom and it will be novel as well and will require a lot of research and effort. And not to mention the software engineering uh, component as well, since we will be uh, including uh, deploying as part of Singularity Net. It will be uh, open source and 10% of the revenue, over $1,000 monthly revenue will be shared back to the community. So we have a really great team of, of data scientists, AI professionals and our advisor um, is also a champion in the probabilistic ML conformal prediction space, whose uh, PhD of his advisor was the one who actually uh, created or invented the conformal prediction space. So, and um, he and he also has a GitHub with um, with twenty five hundred stars, um, and then a, an active uh, user base as well. And another of our team member, Madi, he also runs a YouTube channel. Uh, around uh, conformal prediction. So not only uh, I think that we have the uh, competency to uh, implement this, but we also have some of the uh, outreach as well. Kevin, so, oh, um, sorry, I think we, we're going to have to leave it there. Okay, oh, sounds good. All right. Well, that is the my presentation. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs>